Okay, so now let's solve the FE type question using the impulse momentum principle. So what we're told here is we have a 10 degree Celsius water jet entering at a velocity of 25 meter per second is deflected by a fixed vein as shown by the figure below. So what's happening here is we are at 25 meter per second and the jet enters and we know we have a fixed vein here and this vein will serve the job of deflecting this jet. So we enter at 25 here and we exit at 25 as well. So we're told the water jet has a diameter of eight centimeter and the X and Y component forces in Newtons exerted on the vein by the water are most nearly what? What is the X and Y component forces? So the approach here is to essentially use the impulse momentum principle but we want to look at finding the components, the X and Y component forces. We know in our handbook we're given the equation for the resultant force in the given direction. And that does not really help us here because we need the component forces. So what I'm going to do first is write what we want to find. We want to find the component forces. So Fx and Fy in Newtons. And I'm going to write an equation two equations that we're going to use. So the Fx is going to be the density of the fluid times Q, or you can write Q times the density. So this is going to be multiplied by the velocity 2 in the X, because we're looking in the X direction, minus the velocity 1 in the X. So that's for the force in the X. So we know that we enter here at a velocity 1 and if we assume let's say our control volume is this let's say we have a control volume and here we have something that enters and that exits so this is our control volume and we know we enter at v1 in the x so this is what we enter at v1 in the x and we know we exit the control volume here at a velocity v2, so this is at an angle, right? v2 is at an angle here. So let's say I'm going to call that v2. It will have a component in the x. So it will have a v2x. It will be that component. And since this is 45 degrees, we know that this angle here, this angle is 45 degrees. So this angle here is 45 degrees. And this is V2x, this is V1x. So that's in red. So that's for that force in the x component, that component. And we know the force in the y, you just do Q times rho. Q does not change because the velocity does not change, right? We enter and leave at the same velocity. So Q does not change. What we do here is now change everything to y, right? Replace this x by y because we're looking at y. So now you do V2Y minus V1Y. And if I actually denote that in the figure, we know that we enter here at V1X. This V1 is strictly horizontal. So we have no V1Y, right? Because we enter only horizontal. We're not at an angle. So we have no V1Y. So V1Y is essentially zero. But we do indeed have a V2Y. So we know this is V2, it's at an angle here. It will have a Y component that goes like that. So V2, Y. And we know this, since this is 45 degrees, this is going to be V2, which is the 25 meter per second, sine of 45 degrees. And it will be positive since it's going up. But we'll get to that. So now we have the handy equations here. Before that, I want to solve for these. I want to denote these Q and rho. So first, let's denote rho. We know at 10 degrees Celsius rho in our tables in our handbook that give us fluid properties at 10 degrees Celsius you should get rho to have a density of 999.7 kilogram per meter to the third so this is in the handbook using the SI tables for fluid properties under the fluid mechanics section so we know it's 10 degrees Celsius water so then let's find Q. We know Q is what? Q equals A V. So Q equals the area is going to be pi D squared over 4. So the diameter here is 8 centimeter. 
So we want to convert it to meter and because we know the velocities in meter per second and at the end we want newtons, right? So we want to pick newtons from the answer choices. So let's convert that to meter. So it's going to be pi 0 0.08 meter squared over 4 and we multiply by the velocity. We know the velocity does not change so you just put 25 meter per second. So we can solve for Q which is the flow rate and for the flow rate we should get around 0 0.126 meter to the third per second. So we have the row value, we have Q and that's what we will plug in here on the outside for both of these. So now let's solve for Vx, the force in the x component, the force exerted by the water on the vein. So we take the Q value times rho, so we take Q, which is 0 0.126 meter to the third per second, times rho, which is the 999.7 kilogram per meter to the third, and now we multiply by what? That V2x minus V1x. So let's go up here. What's V1x? V1x is just the 25. What's V2x? V2x will be V2, negative V2 because it goes to the left, right? This going to the right is positive. Here it goes to the left. So it's going to be negative V2 cosine of 45. So I'll just write that here. V2x is going to equal negative V2 cosine of 45 degrees because again it goes to the left and this angle is 45 since this is 45 the angle here is going to be 45 so let's denote that here so we do V2x so it's going to be negative V2 and we know V2 is just 25 25 meter per second and we do cosine of 45 degrees and we do then that was v2x that was this portion we do minus v1x keep the sign here so minus what's v1x v1x is just v1 right it's the horizontal it's the horizontal velocity entering the control volume so it's just 25 meter per second 25 meter per second and close parentheses so now we can solve for the Vx, sorry, for the Fx component. And for that, we should get negative 5375.77 newtons. So this is our first answer. So now let's find Vy. You just do the same procedure. We take Q times rho. meter to the third per second nine 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 seven kilogram per meter to the third and then you do now is v2y minus v1y so what's v2y v2y is this component right and what do you think that is it will be positive because it goes up v2 sine of 45 degrees right the angle 45 is here. This is positive V2 sine of 45 degrees. And what's V1Y? We know V1 that enters is strictly in the horizontal. So we have no V1Y. So V1Y is just 0. So now you do V2Y here, which is going to be the positive V2, which is 25 meter per second, sine of 45 degrees. And we do minus V1Y, which is just 0. Then we can solve for Fy. And for Fy, we should get positive 2226.7 2, 2, newtons. So we have our answer. So we have the X and Y components that are exerted on the vein. So the correct answer here would be B. And that's it. Please subscribe and like and take care.